Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another arcade one up update uh, So with the asteroids cabinet the main problem everybody's been having with it is the spinner the or the dial Whatever you want to call it the spinner or the dial I'm gonna call it spinner because that's what I call it the spinner it, it kind of locks into place now I personally don't have this cabinet, but I've seen the videos on it the spinner locks into place It's not a free spinning spinner it basically clicks every time that you spin it and and when you spin it it you know it clicks into place and you spin it around and it clicks into the next place and so on and so forth and that's really not how the spinner is meant to be the spinner is meant to be like a weighted dial a free spinning dial where you can spin it and it will continuously keep spinning it's not supposed to click into place and spin section by section now because of this it's basically made the asteroids cabinet unplayable with the games that require you to use the spinner However, it's been brought to my attention and I've been asked to make this video for you guys because somebody on Facebook by the name of Didier or D D Deer, you know, I probably butchered your name, I'm sorry, uh, but this was a little mod that he found, a very quick and simple mod that he found in order to uh, basically solve this issue. Uh, so he found it and uh, Jordan, another Facebook user, actually provided the video that I'm going to be showing you guys for this video. He provided the video footage and they were able to do a simple little mod to the inside of the cabinet and or to the spinner of the cabinet and, and solve this issue. It's still not, you know, your traditional free spinning dial, but it is much improved from the standard, you know, clickiness that was it basically brings the cabinet from being unplayable to playable now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look at the post here. So we'll just go ahead and read this for you guys. The spinner drags on the control panel. I used the two lock washers and he forgot which sizes, but he brought the piece with them uh, to the hardware store, found the right washers that go in it, and he did it that way. So the spinner drags on the control panel and using these washers, it gives it enough gap that it's not going to cause any drag and it'll still allow you to tighten the screws back on when you put the spinner back on. And then the spinner has a load of slop and a, he took a piece of electrical tape and cut it to these measurements and he wrapped it around the keyed part of the spinner control rod and that took out all the slop. So that's all it took was two washers and a piece of tape uh, and we'll, we'll look at the images here. You can see that's all he did and we'll take a look at the video in a second as well. So yeah, just with that little mod, it's very simple, very inexpensive, because how much do washers cost? Like, uh, you know, a couple cents, not even a dollar. That very simple mod, you know, unfortunately, this is something you have to do yourself, and you have to fix Arcade 1-Up's mistake, but with something so simple, you just turned your cabinet from unplayable to playable, and now you can enjoy the games that use the spinners. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, again, shout out to Deer and shout out to Jordan, and also shout out to Lewis, all Facebook users who notified me of this and asked me to make this video for you guys. So again, I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful if you have the, uh, the Asteroids cabinet. Uh, let me know down below if you're going to be doing this to fix your spinner. Uh, me personally, if I had that cabinet, I definitely would because it's unplayable without it basically so so yeah if you guys found this video useful if you can give this video a thumbs up uh if you're not already subscribed if you could hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell and that's pretty much it because it's getting late so i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so be sure to check out all of my other arcade one up videos stay tuned for more and as always i'll see you guys next time